So the goal of my research is to come up with new ideas for cancer therapies, and a key to doing this might be in the immune system, so let me explain a little bit. Part of the immune system are molecules called antibodies, which are found in our blood all the time. And the way they work is that they attach to foreign particles, which are eventually cleared by the system. So the way that cancer gets around this detection by antibodies is that, as you can see, natural antibodies don't recognize the cancer cells. Nowadays, we can actually engineer antibodies so they do recognize cancer cells. And these are a special class of drugs called therapeutic antibodies. And there's about 30 of these drugs in use today. Um, and they represent a huge industry considering that each of these drugs takes about $1 billion in 10 years worth of development. So people are looking at ways of improving the activity of therapeutic antibodies. And one way that I'm doing this in my research is through a combination of chemistry, um, molecular biology, and pharma, pharma uh, I should know that? <laughs> Pharmacy. And what I do is I attach therapeutic antibodies to small uh, balls of fats called liposomes. And just to give you an idea of how big these things are, about 10,000 of them will fit end to end in one millimeter. And so because of their small size, we call them nanopharmaceuticals. Now really interestingly, what I've found is that as the number of antibody molecules in the nanopharmaceutical increases, the amount of cancer cell death also increases. But that's actually a little bit counterintuitive because I'm giving the same amount of antibody to all the cells, so we should see the same amount of cell death. So why is this happening? Let me explain in terms of a group of cellists. Imagine you're sitting in the Chan Center listening to this particular group of cellists play a melody in unison together. Now imagine sitting in the same place, but those cellists are spread all around the world. You're not going to hear anything. So what we need is the cellist to be in the same room, playing the same thing at the same time. And that's what the nanopharmaceutical does. It actually concentrates the antibody signaling in the same space on the cell. And that's what's responsible for the enhanced effects. So what I'd like to do is to continue developing this into a product that can be used clinically. And uh, that's the outcome of my research. Thank you very much.